Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says he can defeat President Biden in the 2024 matchup. In a Monday interview with Pierce Morgan published by the New York Post, the rising Republican star and likely presidential candidate pointed to his winning record in Florida's 2022 midterm elections to argue that he has the kind of broad appeal needed to win a presidential election next year. I'm running against Biden, DeSantis said. Like Trump and I are competing for the Republican, potentially, I get that, but ultimately, you know, the guy I'm going to focus on is Biden because I think he's failed the country. I think the country wants to change. I think they want a fresh start with a new direction. So we'll be very vocal about that. Asked whether he thinks he could beat Biden, the Florida governor replied, I think so. DeSantis hasn't said much about his 2024 ambitions. He's repeatedly brushed off questions about whether he'll seek the White House next year, though he's actively preparing for a campaign, and a formal decision is widely expected in late spring after the Florida state legislature closes out its annual session. Still, DeSantis is showing all the characteristics of a politician intent on running for higher office. In his interview with Morgan, DeSantis boasted about his record as Florida's governor. A budget surplus, environmentally friendly policies, and tough on crime policies arguing that he has what it takes to win over independent voters. That broad political appeal, he said, amounts to a winning formula for Republicans in 2024. I won with independence by 18 points, DeSantis said, and so that will be the same formula that we would take and honestly forget about me. I think anybody should take the formula like, like that nationally. You can't win with just Republicans. You've got to win with independents, and you need to convince some of these Democrats, which I was able to do in Florida because they're not woke. They don't like some of the nonsense going on. DeSantis' interview with Morgan A Fox News host who has a complicated history with Trump offered some of the Florida governor's most bullish comments yet about a potential 2024 presidential run. For weeks, he's faced unrelenting criticism and derision from Trump, who's running once again for the GOP's presidential nod. DeSantis, however, has largely shrugged off the attacks, insisting that he's focused only on his job as Florida's governor. At one point in his interview with Morgan, DeSantis mocked the nickname Trump used to deride him, Ron DeSanctimonious, saying, I don't know how to spell the sanctimonious one. I don't really know what it ta- what it means, but I kind of like it. It's long. It's got a lot of vowels, DeSantis said. We'll go with that. That's fine. I mean, you can call me whatever you want, just as long as you also call me a winner, because that's what we've been able to do in Florida, is put a lot of points on the board and really take the state to the next level. Now, we've talked before about how um, when it comes to policy, The difference between Trump and DeSantis is really minuscule. Um, And a lot of times you can actually make the case that Trump is the better of the two options. So you have the part where DeSantis says that he's, you know, tough on crime. And you had Trump who ran on pretty much the same position and did the first step back. And it was like this, you know, marginally okay anti, um, you know, like criminal justice reform bill. Um, but it's, it's kind of interesting when you look at his, because he's talking about, oh, I, I have the winning formula. Well, this is a guy who ran in a state that at one point what could be considered a swing state, right, Florida, but a state that's been going more and more red. So I almost would argue did he really did, did he win because he was this amazing for your I don't think he was like just complete trash right maybe maybe that's one of the things but did he really win because he was this amazing governor or was it because Florida is becoming more and more leaning toward Republicans than Democrats um he's a uh, just just really lousy I mean I sometimes I watch this stuff and I just kind of engage with it and I'm always reminded of the people that are involved in these things. <laughs> like he's his his winning formula is to get the majority of his party some independents and some a few Democrats. It's like, well, that's kind of what Biden did when he ran against Trump. There were a lot of moderate voters who did not appreciate um, his response to the virus. There were a lot of moderate voters who, especially after the election, didn't appreciate January sixth, and. If DeSantis is talking about himself as this champion of independence, I do think if Biden runs against him, 
and he mentions the don't say gay bill and a lot of these other you know restrictions when it comes to education um you could probably get people who are moderates to look at DeSantis and say well you're you're just as extreme as trump except you're 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 like nicer about it <laughs> basically so it's really funny that he actually apparently sees himself as a moderate but that's why i said running for uh president takes so much ego and these people just they really have it like he he believes him and trump are different and they're not or should i say um certainly not to any degree where anyone who dislikes one of them would uh, like the other, which is why he's seeing his numbers drop because more and more voters are going, okay, the little the little fling with DeSantis over you know the spring was nice, but now we're going to go to Trump because he's tearing into him and DeSantis is too scared to actually respond back to him in an aggressive manner like he should. Um, so this is just another guy whose head is in the clouds who who wants to be president but doesn't have the um, the skills or the courage to you know his book is called courage to be free the courage to actually take down the person who's leading right now um and if he can't defeat trump in the primary which is something that's very doable uh then he can forget even going up against biden